The arrival of plants on land had stimulated a surge in life in and around freshwater swamps, and this created new opportunities for the fish that lived here. One of the niches that was being developed at that time was for shallow water predators. You know, which fish could find other fish that were living in the shallows, the swamps, the, the productive ecosystems that were just starting to appear on Earth at that time. Ted Deschler and his colleagues believed that limb-like fins could have helped a fish to hunt in this kind of environment. This was the fossil that got us really excited. We couldn't have dreamed, actually, that we would find something as well-preserved as this one. The team found features that matched the profile of a shallow water predator. Eyes placed on the top of a flattened head. And ranks of sharp teeth. They gave it a local Inuit name. Tiktaalik. We can now work out from its bones how Tiktaalik moved around in those swamps and shallows. In deep water, it must have swum like any other fish. A flexible neck allowed Tiktaalik to point its jaws at its prey when space was too cramped to maneuver its whole body. But it was the fins that provided the team with the most exciting evidence. Behind the spiny rays, there were lobe-like stumps like those of the coelacanth. But Tiktaalik's bones revealed a pattern that was much closer to the basic structure of limbs. We learned a lot about the fin of Tiktaalik from this specimen. Now this is a cast of all the different bones that we found in association, including the shoulder girdle here. Um, but that is the complete fin skeleton from the front fin. So I'm a lobe fin fish. Here is my front fin, we call it a limb now, but here is Tiktaalik's front fin. We've got a shoulder joint, and it's very important that there's a shoulder joint which is oriented a little bit laterally, a little bit down in Tiktaalik. Very different from an animal that's just swimming with its fin and paddling along. This fin seemed to be oriented beneath the body. So this is the humerus. We all have a humerus. That's the first bone in the front appendage. Um, we have a ulna and a radius. So you and I, all limbed animals, have an ulna and radius. We have some wrist bones, and we actually then have something which, like a wrist, could bend together and allow this fin to sit down and to contact a surface with a surface area and so when we see all of these features, we see a structure which is very much like our limbs. So here is a fish using its fin in a very limb-like way. Tiktaalik's heavy-duty fin still helped it to swim. But if it hit the shallows, the bones and joints would help to push itself up and punt around. But this new limb didn't just help mobility in the water. It became the driving force behind one of the most spectacular events in evolutionary history. The arrival of the first vertebrate animals on land.